Merry Christmas everyone, this is Mike Pado once again and we are returning to our tropical weather analysis for this Friday, December 25, Christmas Day and valid for until Monday, December 28 and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000 Let's begin with our update, here's the latest graph set beginning tonight uh, December 25, 8 p.m. Friday until tomorrow, 8 p.m. Saturday uh, we have a uh, shallow LPA, which is currently uh, developing to the uh, southwest of Palau, or south southeast of Mindanao, and it is moving uh, rapidly or quickly towards the southern coastal areas of Mindanao. So expect some rain conditions by tomorrow evening over these uh, areas in uh, Mindanao. While here across the uh, three-fourths of the country, particularly of Visayas, Bicol region, and uh, the whole of Luzon, Mimaropa, Sulu Archipelago, including the Batanes and Group of Islands, we have the prevailing northeast monsoon, bringing some busy conditions of winds of up to 60 kph, with some passing on and off rain showers or thunderstorms, particularly uh, along eastern Visayas and Bicol region. And we have here a tail end of a frontal system, which is uh, over the uh, northern portion of the uh, you know, Philippine Sea. And uh, just watch out for possible flash floods or landslides, just in case you have uh, experienced a strong thunderstorm over your respected areas. Uh, so far, this uh, shallow LPA is not expected to intensify into a tropical cyclone. It will be uh, remaining as a low pressure area as it is expected to pass over the southern coastal areas of Mindanao and it's likely to become a moderate LPA once it moves over these areas of the southern portion of uh, uh, Sulu Archipelago. And uh, here, uh, the northeast monsoon will start to weaken, uh, beginning uh, tomorrow noontime or evening, or afternoon, I mean, to the evening. So expect uh, the winds will shift from the east, but some heavy showers is uh, likely along the uh, eastern sections of uh, Bicol region and Visayas. Watch out for uh, some big waves from the sea, particularly along uh, uh, the uh, coastal areas or the uh, uh, seaboard areas of the Philippine Islands. Let's take a look. Let Let's take a look at our fast animation. So here's the latest from CIMSS Tropical Cyclone page, and you can clearly see here the LPA right here with its uh, extending uh, surface or trough uh, affecting the southern portions of the Philippine Sea and some cloudiness with some showers or thunderstorms moving towards the Bicol region as of this time. And as we look at our windy.com zoom in satellite animation, this is the infrared through the evening. You can see here some uh, scattered uh, on and off rains and, and uh, possible thunderstorms across the Bicol region and also here along uh, Bohol and Southern Leyte. So far, uh, these are uh, uh, scattered and it's not widespread as of this time. And as we look at our uh, three-day rain, pressure and wind forecast from ECMWF, courtesy of windy.com, you can clearly see here at uh, 9 a.m. tomorrow, Saturday, the northeast monsoon is still prevailing over the uh, mentioned affected areas, but some infused uh, but some flow of thunderstorm or rain showers will be expected to affect much of the Visayas by tomorrow morning through the southern portions of Sulu Archipelago. And in the afternoon of Saturday, the uh, showers and thunderstorms will ex extend towards the Bicol region with the winds from the northeast shifting from the east or easterly southeast wind flow while the developing LPA is over the southernmost part of Sulu Archipelago, just west of Zamboanga. So, uh, we could have a uh, rain conditions tomorrow over Bicol, Visayas, Sulu Archipelago, and uh, most likely over Mindanao. And on Sunday, Sunday morning, the LPA is uh, approaching uh, Palawan, 
with some still uh, some rains or thunderstorms will be expected across uh, the rest of Mimaropa and eastern Visayas as well as the Bigo region and the eastern sections of northern Quezon due to the easterly surface wind flow while over Palawan is due to the LPA and uh, on Sunday uh, evening it will start to traverse the central portion of uh, Palawan very close to Puerto Princesa so expect again some rain event over this area and this was uh, somewhat similar to the track of uh, Vicky but this is uh, somewhat a very weak or shallow LPA that will move across the uh, island province but uh, it is expected to become a moderate LPA by uh, tomorrow to Sunday and we move forward on Monday morning the shallow LPA is already over the West Philippine Sea west of Coron Palawan while some good weather except for Palawan will be expected uh, across the uh, whole archipelago except for the uh, uh, extreme northern parts of the zone because of the northeast monsoon and on Monday afternoon the uh, LPA is uh, expected to uh, move towards Klayan Island Group exceeding the Philippine area of responsibility but some thunderstorms will be expected over Metro Manila Southern Tagalog provinces, Bicol, Eastern Visayas, and some portions of Western and Central Visayas because of the southeasterly uh, wind flow with some convergence along the way, basically due to the existing La Nina uh, climate or La Nina phenomenon. Okay, so far that's the latest uh, for today until Monday, December 28th, and we will be returning again next week on Monday, December 28th, to give you more updates on the weather. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser, hashtag typhoonwiser. Uh, happy weekend to all. Again, Merry Christmas. And uh, I hope all of you is uh, doing uh, good and uh, fine during this time of the holiday season. Okay, see you again, guys, next week. Uh, bye for now. And uh, take care.